Five years, baby. Five years on YouTube. I was just thinking about this earlier. It feels like every the anniversary videos that I've made have been the exact same. They're just like, yo, I've been on YouTube this long. <laughs> I didn't believe we'd make it here. Oh my God, thank you so much. And it's kind of funny just to think about that because that's the initial response that I do want to give. But then I remember that it's just going with the system and I just don't want to do that again. So here we are talking for the fifth year anniversary of me doing YouTube. And I do think it is quite insane that we've made it here. The reason why I do think it is insane is not just because I'm here doing it, but because throughout the entire time, how many people I saw leave. There was so many people at the start and now it feels like I'm the last warrior or something. <laughs> everybody's moved on but i'm still here making content it's awesome really i enjoy it and that's the reason why i'm still here i want to be doing it otherwise beautiful day may 15th smelling the lavender in the air the flowers beautiful beautiful afternoon and it's just so exciting man life is great and today is actually the first day of working at my new job as a cook at a restaurant and i'm pretty excited it was only five years ago today that I was downloading Zombies Chronicles while at school and getting home and making the channel art for my YouTube channel while desperately trying to figure out how to make the Elgato work on OBS. It was a crazy time really. I used to sit here in a chair and read books while Josie would be on the, the dog run and it was great times and this is actually one of my favorite spots in the world just to chill out, especially when it's around seven or eight o'clock because that way is west. And so the sun sets and all the rays come through the trees. But let's get into the nitty gritty. Was it worth being on YouTube for five entire years and, you know, dedicating myself full time to YouTube for like one and a half of those years? And I gotta say, yeah, it was definitely worth it. I, ha I used to hold this grudge against YouTube because I always had this weird instinct to put YouTube over everything. YouTube was always the number one priority. And that makes sense because when you're in high school, what do you have other than your hobby? You only have your hobby at that point. Your entire life is fighting against what you're made to do, which is go sit in a prison seven hours a day and then you come home and do whatever. And that's what YouTube really was. It was this escape. I thought about it every day, every second. I always thought of the future, the now, the past. And it was, it was a fun thing to do. And then when I graduated high school, I realized that there was kind of more to life than just making YouTube videos endlessly. And, but the thing was that I still wanted to make YouTube work out. I wanted to see if I could make it into something that would pay the bills, something that I would do for a long time and enjoy my life and find what some people call as success. And I definitely found success in a different way, but the success that I got was finding myself, what I liked, what I hated, what I didn't want to do. And then it's really funny, but the, the moments you're angry your really bad moments or where you see yourself the most and that's the best way to figure out how to fix yourself and I was really angry at YouTube because I spent a year and a half doing YouTube full-time and I expected the, su the success to come because I had been on the platform for so long and in a way I felt like I kind of deserved it but then I realized that I got so much more out of it but that's only now that I've realized that in the past couple of months but how it used to be was I was upset that I wasted all that time on an endeavor than doing something like just sticking to a job and keeping it and focusing on that. And I, I, I think that, man, I could have owned land by 20 years old and I already could be building my cabin right now, but where am I at? I'm living in my mom's house waking up every morning to make YouTube videos and I couldn't even find a job. After all that anger and being upset, I realized, man, I actually, dude, there's so many people on this earth who would kill to be able to follow their passion for at least one year and do it full time to see if it would pan out. And guess what? 
I got to do that. I got to do it even longer than a year. And in fact, I got to do it for the last five years. Because if I think about it in high school, if I add up all those late nights that I worked on YouTube videos till five in the morning and then fell asleep for two hours and then had to get up and walk to school, I spent full time those three years too. It's just, I wasn't able to put all my energy into it because most of my day was spent at rotting at school. And then I realized how life has just came together. And once I started realizing how good life was and more of thinking that everything was pretty much just, dude, I, I got to live that. And that's awesome because if you think about it, not a lot of people get to live out five years on YouTube. Morning. Morning. It is. Can't wait for the rain. But I realized that five years is something that nobody gets. I've met so many people who didn't even last a year on YouTube, who didn't last a month on it. And just then I realized how awesome that I got to experience that is. I think that was the real gift and that was the real success of doing a YouTube channel. And it's not like I'm quitting right now. It's just the success that I thought, the success that I was searching for was not the type of success that I got. And I got something way better out of it. And I'm still keeping on going. I could still attain that original success, but now this time, I'm not the one searching for it. That success can come to me. I'm not gonna try at it anymore. What's the point in wasting my time when I can get farther in real life than doing this funny imaginary internet silly thing where you press record and then, you know, cut a few things in Sony Vegas and then upload. It's a lot more than that, but still, if you break it down to simple terms, that's really what it is. What's the point of getting upset at it, angry at it, when it's the simplest thing on earth, when you put it down to those words? Well, five years, it's a celebration, for sure. It's nice to have these sit downs. I didn't really know what I wanted to talk about today. I actually, well, that's not true. I had a vision in my head what I wanted to talk about today, but I didn't end up talking about it. Who cares? Whatever. Life is good. This five year mark, this fifth year is a start of a new era because I'm a man now. I'm 20 years old. I just got a new job, a respectable job, a job that I can have some dignity doing. <laughs> and I'm gonna have this awesome hobby on the side and doing stuff outside, it's fun. If this is the rest of my life, then I'm pretty lucky, man. So, thanks for watching, guys. If, you're, if any of you are left, thanks for the five years. I guess it's more so a thank you to myself because I'm the reason why I'm here. But I gotta say thank you to you guys too because you guys definitely made it a little more fun. I'm gonna get editing this video and upload it before I have to go to work today. Life is good. See you guys in the next video. Peace.